Hey, welcome back. Do you know what is going to be the most important skill in this AI era? According to Google DeepMind CEO Demis Hassabis, learning how to learn is going to be the most important skill in this AI era. He also pointed out understanding how to learn, optimizing approaches to learning new things on top of Traditional subjects like math, science, and humanities are going to be the most important skill in this age. Now you might ask, how to learn efficiently? Good question. By making connection. Our brain is continuously making connection and helping us to learn anything. Okay, that is already happening. Now you might ask second question. How can I expedite my learning process? You have to use an external tool, just like Obsidian, which helps you to learn anything efficiently by making external connection like this. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So, today we will start our obsidian journey and learn how to learn efficiently by making connection. Okay. First thing you have to do is download obsidian. Okay. Let's start with this. Then, when you install obsidian, you will see a window something like this. And there are three options. Create new vault, open folder as a vault, open vault from Obsidian Sync. Oh my god, what is vault? Don't freak out. Vault is another fancy name of folder. That's it. Okay, that means we will create a new folder. That means create new vault. Okay, let's go. Create and the vault name is just idea nest. And then let's select the location. I'll select my desktop. That's it. You are done. Then just press create. Then you will see a window like this. Simple, elegant and destruction free. There's a three pen. Left side, this is the file browser. And this is a new node. This is your vault. Okay. And the net note name is welcome. And this is the graph view of the connection with your node. So you see, it created a new connection with a new link over here with this one. Okay. For demonstration purpose, we will learn something very interesting. How to get rich slowly. So that is the topic we will learn today on top of Obsidian so that I can demonstrate you how to learn anything efficiently using a tool like Obsidian. Okay, let's go. Okay, for that, let me create a new node and right click on it, create a new node. And the node name is investment. Interesting. You see, it created a new node over here in the graph window. Okay, let's go. What is happening? Then you might ask, how do I invest? Okay, good question. Buy good companies. Hmm, interesting. Then you might ask second question. Okay, how do I buy good companies? Hmm, okay, let's go. How do I buy good companies? Hmm, so let's go create a new note using this question. Okay, so to create a new note, just follow me. Press left square bracket twice and then Close right square bracket twice. Interesting. Did you see what happened? It created a new node placeholder just instantly. Interesting. And you will also see this is a little bit blurred, not cleared as investment. Now, if you press Ctrl, then click on top of this new node placeholder, it will create a new node. Interesting. And then you will see this is as clear as investment. Isn't it interesting? I am creating connection. Okay. How do I buy good companies? That is really a good question. The easiest way to buy good company is to buy stock. Hmm. Interesting. Then you might ask, what is stock? Okay. So what we will do, we will create a new node using stock. So, you, you already know what you have to do is square bracket twice, then close the square bracket. That means, how to buy good companies? It created a new connection with stock. And if I press control or command in Mac and click on this node, it created a new node named stock. What is stock? Hmm, interesting. Isn't it? Okay. So, stock is a piece of ownership in a company. So, let me write this down over here a piece of ownership in a company then okay let me write few more lines over here owning a stock means owning a slice of pizza from a giant pie the better the pizza shop the be the more valuable the slice becomes so for simple analogy consider 
Nvidia is a big pizza. When you are buying a stock, you are buying a slice of a pizza. Did you get it? That's it. Simple as it. Okay. Now you might ask another question. Okay. Why company gives away ownership? That's interesting. Okay. And then write this question. Why company gives away ownership? Then create a new note using this question. This time we will create new note in Amber way. Select the whole note. Then press left square bracket twice. Hmm. You see that? It is also adding the closing square bracket and creating the note placeholder. Hmm. So this is so much efficient and frictionless process to create a note. Why company gives away ownership? It created a new note. So you see that this is for the first time a software is making external connection and it is connection in a way which is frictionless and easy to maintain. If you read atomic habits, you know to build a habit for a long time, it has to be frictionless. And this software, Obsidian, did that very efficiently and elegantly. Okay. Let's go. Why company gives the ownership? Again, press Ctrl or Command in Mac and create a new node. Okay. So why? To raise money for expansion or paying debt. Hmm. Interesting. So that means now you know many questions related to investment and stock. We are learning a new topic that is very good. And you are welcome. But we are also learning another new interesting thing that is Obsidian. And now I will tell you something very exciting which might change your mind forever. So before that, let me show you something. Okay. If I go to stock and right click on this and open this note location, show in System Explorer, then I will see a folder like this and the folder name is Idianist. That is the name that you put at the beginning. Inside folder, we will see all of our notes. Okay, that is not the most exciting thing. If you open stock by clicking on this, you will be amazed that your note is in a plain text format. That point is very, very important. Why I am saying this? Because when something is plain text format, that is future proof. Then you might ask, what is future proof? Future proof means, think about it. Obsidian is a software which is not that old, maybe five years old. And you are taking note, building your knowledge base inside Obsidian. But this might happen that Obsidian might phase out or stop coming update. Then what will happen with your note at that time? You do not need to worry about anything because you, all of your obsidian notes you see over here are simple plain text markdown format, which is another plain text format to create rich text. Okay, so that means whatever you are taking note using obsidian software that is completely future proof. So, why I am saying this? Because there are a lot of noting softwares in the market OneNote, Notion, Evernote and many others and most of the companies try to lock your notes inside their software or server in a binary format so that they can actually sell you subscription years after years that is true but this is for the first time a company thought outside of the box to free your complete knowledge system from that binary format, it made a note taking software on top of plain text so that they wanted to make your knowledge base future flow. That is the most important and exciting thing you need to know about using Obsidian. So there are many advantages comes with this plain text format. For example, if you just simply copy this your idea nest into any of the syncing software just like google drive OneDrive, anything but you will be able to sync your whole knowledge base in multiple computers isn't it very interesting okay so i do not want to make this video so long i will continue this topic in the next video but if you find this interesting you will see a lot of video about Obsidian, how to manage your knowledge, how to manage your job, how to manage your tasks, and how to learn anything efficient, everything. 
how to do research efficiently everything i have made so many videos on this topic in my channel so don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends i will see you in the next video continuing this topic okay thank you